so I definitely just broke my window. because I wasn't really happy with the angle that I had but now we are ready to go I am gonna do a saddle pad collection um, I don't actually have as many as I thought I did which kind of is a good thing I guess disclaimer most of my saddle pads are dirty and need to be washed so that's kind of why I decided to do the video because I had to take them all to my room so that I could wash them anyways. First, we have um, this very pretty equine couture uh, saddle pad. It's a jump pad and it's got a really nice ribbon here and then the logo embroidered on it. Um, and the nicest part about this saddle pad, I think, or a very nice part about the saddle pad, is that it's black on the inside. So I was worried, because I bought it online on uh, Cyber Monday, I was worried that the inside was going to be white because um, that just makes it so dirty looking and it still has the tag on it because I haven't quite used it yet. I'll probably use it today because I have a jump lesson today. Um, and yeah, it's just like a really quality, like thick, sturdy saddle pad. This next one I have not used in a while, so it's pretty dirty, um, but it is an Ogilvy baby pad. So it's, it's not like an actual, like a normal baby pad is really thin and it's just like one layer of material, but Ogilvy baby pads are normal saddle pad material with like the soft fabric on the inside. Um, it's just shorter, like cropped like a baby pad would be, but it's um, still like a thick material. The best thing about this baby pad is that uh, it has billets on it, or not billets, but like girth strap things. I don't even know what to call them. But uh, I hate when baby pads don't have those because then they slide back and everything. But it's just a really nice saddle pad and I use it like every day. Okay. Next is... Oh, it's really dirty. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, I keep my saddle pads in my trunk so they're all a little dirty and have like some hay and stuff on them. But this one is an Ogilvy... Uh, jump pad. It's my show pad. I use it for um, show jumping usually. Uh, it's got turquoise piping and black trim and it's white on the inside which is kind of a bummer but I mean it's white on the outside too so like it doesn't really matter. Um, it's got that Ogilvy like really nice soft fabric on the inside and it's just one of my favorite pads really. It's really comfortable and it's durable and it's just a really nice pad. This one actually um, came from my boss over the summer. He was cleaning out his uh, saddle pad cabinet and uh, was gonna get rid of some of the ones that he didn't need or didn't use and this was one of them. So it's just a white dressage pad that I use for schooling at shows. Um, it's got kind of like a rip on the front here so that's why I only use it for schooling. But it's a really nice pad. It's soft on the inside. It's a Tough Rider pad. Um, and it's got Econ Couture on this side and GGT on that side. And it's just a really nice pad. Very dirty, clearly. Stained needs a wash. This one is my dressage schooling pad. It, um, I don't have a dressage saddle, so actually my mom bought this thinking it was a jump pad, um, but the school I go to has dressage saddles you can use, so this is what I use when I'm riding in one of those, and I'm looking to get a dressage saddle soon, hopefully, um, but it is a uh, Shedro pad and it's really thick. It's a really good color. It's teal with white piping and I think navy binding and it's got billets and everything. It's really dirty but 
is a quality pad. Looks good on pretty much any horse. This pad is my cross country pad and it, well, for the time being, I am planning on getting a gray cross country pad soon, but uh, this is the one that I use right now. It is a Pacific Rim International saddle pad and it's probably, I've learned that I think this is probably my favorite brand of saddle pad. It's like really nice, thick. I really like the shape of it. Like it looks really short, but it's it actually fits the saddle really, really nicely. Um, I cut the things off of all of my saddle pads because I just feel like they don't work for me. Um, it's gray on the inside and it's like a soft material. And so if it's gonna rub at all, uh, which it shouldn't, because if your saddle fits your horse, then it should not rub, hopefully. But the channel is padded, in case it does come down on your horse's withers, and is comfortable enough for the back. Um, it's got navy piping, and then just the same color binding. And I got this pad at Rolex on consignment. Like, if you're ever looking for really good deals, Rolex, show jumping day, Saturday, you get some good deals of what's left over. This last pad is um, a jump pad. I have yet to cut these off. Uh, I have not used this pad in a while, so it's kind of looking a little sad. But it's an EOS, or however you say this brand. I don't remember how to say this brand. I think it's EOS, not really sure. But it is just an all-purpose uh, jump pad, and it has a little horse decal there, some hay in his mouth, and it's like a periwinkle type of color with uh, green piping and then the periwinkle binding. And it's a really nice like thick saddle pad, which is why I use it in the winter. And you can tell that I use it in the winter because it's got a bunch of long hair on it. Um, but it's a good pad. I just haven't used it in a while because I've been using like my black baby pad for most things. Can you tell I have a color preference? <laughs>